Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to be setting up cable locks with SFML, Glue and GLM. First of all, this video assumes you've already watched my video set up SFML with cable locks tutorial. So if you haven't done that video yet, then it's in the video description. Please watch that and then come back. Now I did technically already make this video, but as you can see from the comments here, quite a lot of people are getting very bizarre errors, so obviously I did not do a very good job. So here we are, and anyways, like I said in the last video, it's the utmost importance that you do not skip ahead and you watch the whole video, otherwise you'll end up like these people and getting lots of random errors. So on the last video, we've already set up SFML, so now we just need to set up Glue and GLM. Part 1. Download Glue and GLM. So to keep things nice and simple, I've put a downloadable zip folder in the description of this video, and this zip folder just contains both libraries which we're going to be setting up in this video. If you don't want to do that, then you can just go to the websites, which I have also linked in the description of this video. So anyways, once you've downloaded these, you're just going to want to extract them to the same place where we extracted SFML last time. Part 2, the glue header files. So first of all, on the this PC side, we're going to find whatever you've installed KBlox to. By default, this is usually in the C drive, in the program files x86 folder, and you should see it there, KBlox. And I'll go into the MinGW folder and then the Include folder. In the Include folder, go into the GL folder. Now on the left side, go into the Glue folder, the Include folder, the GL folder, and then copy and paste all of these files into the GL folder and the MinGW folder. And done. Part 3 the GLM header files. So again, I have a similar setup. I have two file explorers. On one side, I have where the libraries were extracted to, the um, GLM and Glue libraries, that is. And on the right side, I have the include folder from NGW again. Anyways, where you extracted the libraries to, go inside of the GLM folder. Inside of the GLM folder, there is another folder, confusingly also called GLM. You're just want, gonna want to copy and paste the GLM folder into the MinGW include folder uh, and done. Just to double check, inside of the GLM folder which you just copy and pasted it should look something like this. If it does not look like this then it means you've probably copy pasted the wrong folder. Make sure that you copy paste the GLM folder which is inside of the other GLM folder. Part 4 Creating a KBlox project so open up Codeblox and go to create a new project. Now in the last video we created a use template called SFML. So use the user template in the user template section there and press go. So now we're going to need to um, find a folder to create our project in. Uh, so you can just do this anywhere. I'm going to be doing it in my programming projects folder and I'm going to create a new folder called OpenGL and then just press OK once you've created a new folder and then just call the project OpenGL or something like that. So this project should be exactly the same as last time with all the .dll files already there as well as main.cpp with the sfml code and when you run the code it should already have the green circle. Part 5. Tell codeblocks where the glue lib files are. So to tell codeblocks where glue is we just have to right click on the project's name and go into the build options. On the three options on the left there, click on the OpenGL tab. And now go into the search directories. And then into the linker tab. In the linker tab, we're just going to do click on add. And then we're going to look for where we extracted um, glue to. So for me, that's in the programming libraries folder. And then go into the glue folder. And then go into the lib folder. And then click on Win32. And then press OK. Keep this as a relative path. Click no. Press OK and press OK. And that's it. Now Codeblox knows where the um, glue lib files are. Part 6 the glue link libraries. So back here, go into build options again and then go into the OpenGL or project name tab once again. Now go to the linker settings. So we're going to be adding some link libraries again like we did last time. So the first one we're going to add is glue32s. The second one is glue 32. And the third one is open gel 32. And yep, that's it. And just make sure that it's all lowercased and in this order. 
Part 7, the Glue Dynamic Link Library Files. So again, I have this setup again. On the left side, I have where the, we um, extracted the Glue Library to. And on the right side, I have our project. So in the Glue folder, go into the Bin folder, the Release folder, the Win32 folder, and then just copy and paste glue32.dll into um, the same place where the sfml.dll files are in our project folder. And that's it. Done. Part 8. Glue Static. So again, right click on the project name, go into Build Options. In the Project Name tab, go into Defines under the Compiler Settings tab. And then just type in Glue Static. And then press OK and that bit's done. Part 9. Test it actually works. In the description of this video is a link to some code. If you copy and paste all of that code into this program and then test if that compiles. If this compiles for you, that means you've got it all set up correctly. If it does not compile, that means you've gone wrong somewhere. The best suggestion I can give if this um, does not compile for you is that you just go back and rewatch the whole video again to make sure that you didn't miss some important detail. However, if it did compile and you run the program, you should see a rotating... <laughs> So yeah, that's it. You now have code blocks set up with OpenGL and all that. Part 10. Save as a code blocks template. In the last video we saved it as a SFML template, but this time we have glue and GLM working. But before we save as a template, we have to add a file. Uh, add files. Um, because we added glue32.dll, so we have to add this to, to the project so that when we save it as a template, it's still there. So finally, file. Save project as template and then just save it as open gel. And Part 11, Minji Toppy has a stupid bug. If you want to use std to string to convert into just a string, then do this. So Coblox comes with Minji W, which unfortunately has a bug where functions such as std to string do not work, and they're very useful functions. On the description of this video, you'll find a web page, and this web page can describe how you can fix this patch, and I highly recommend you do this, and it takes like one minute, so yeah. Part 12, final. So if you're watching this for my how to make Minecraft series, then all you have to do before you start episode two is to just simply create a new project using the user template that we just made. This is done by going to create a new project, use the templates, open gel, and then just create a new folder and then save the project in that folder. And then from there, you should be good. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope this worked out for you and goodbye.